guys, Crazy VR here. Today I'm bringing you guys a, a commentary about the leadership conference that I went on. And it's going to be a lot of funny parts. Um, there's also going to be a lot of serious parts. So it's kind of like a mixed commentary. It was a very fun time, real quick, before I start. Um, it was a very good three days. I don't know. It was two days at the conference, and then we came back on Friday, but it was mostly a bus ride that day. But anyway, regardless. So we went on Wednesday. We left on November 18th. Um, so I had to be up at, at the school at 6.30, uh, the school was about 10 minutes from my house, so I woke up about 5.45, got a shower, or I couldn't get a shower because my mom had to work, so, but luckily I had showered the night before too, so, um, yeah, but regardless, we got there, we got to the school, we're all sitting there, and 6.30 rolls around, we're expecting the bus to be there, um, they were told they told us how the bus is gonna be here at seven. We're like, okay, no big deal. We'll just chill for half hour. Seven forty-five. The bus finally gets there. Um, so we'd been there for an hour, uh, and then we got caught in traffic on the way up. So it took us like, nah, four hours, maybe three and a half hours to get there. Um, we got there about eleven fifteen. Actually, that's like, yeah, it's three and a half hours. We got there about eleven fifteen. Uh, we hear all the other schools chanting, so we found out we were the second to last school there. Uh, the other school also was caught in traffic. Um, that, that they got there about five minutes after us, though. So we walk into the hall, and they, they tell us to put our stuff down there, and then everybody else is downstairs. We have an assembly. So they're waiting for us. Uh, they're waiting for the other school, too. So we go down there. We all are like... We're doing our thing. We go into our group. So I was in a group called Integrity. And then I knew like three people in my group. So, um, but there, it was from seven different schools from three different counties. So, yeah, I didn't. I knew like three people in my group, uh, and they were all from my school, of course. But I made some. I made some friends. Um, anyway, we go to lunch. We, uh, my roommates and I finished early, so we decided we were going to go up to our room. Uh, bring our stuff up and kind of relax because we had an hour we finished in about 15 minutes So we went up there relaxed for like 45 minutes and we noticed that we didn't have a lot of pillows um, It was two it was four people to a room two beds. So we had to share beds. It was kind of annoying, but Anyway, so we we come up for dinner or we go to dinner We all finish we we all had this planned out. We finished early. We told our teacher We, were, we said we're gonna go upstairs for dinner. We'll be back down by six because that's what time we had to be down so she says that's fine just don't be loud and we're like okay so my roommates and i they they say mike you're holding the door i said all right they all sprint down because they noticed that the linen closet was open and they sprint down each of them grabs two pillows and two sheets so we have the two pillows on the uh, there's two pillows on each bed so we have 10 pillows each um we have like eight sheets um, we have a ton of sheet. We have a ton of stuff. So everybody kept coming in our room, knocking on our door, like, "Hey, hey, can we get a pillow?" Or yeah, we were like, "Yeah, sure." We gave out like three pillows. We we gave out four pillows. Um, and then we were like, "No, we got them for ourselves." After that, um, so we had a ton of pillows, but it was really funny because we weren't supposed to be loud, and they were sprinting down the hallway. Um, so anyway, nothing, re nothing else really funny happened that night. Um, but I was dying. <laughs> uh, so then we go back downstairs. Um, and then the rest of the night goes on. It's 10:30. There's a party. We're kind of bored, so we go upstairs. Uh, I was sitting there watching Netflix on, in like, on like this couch downstairs. So they tell us we can go to our room. So I go upstairs. My roommates come upstairs with us. And uh, yeah, so we're up. Um, they tape our doors shut at 11 because that's our curfew. So they. Um, we hear a noise about 11.15, it sounds like tape ripping off. We look, we text the girls across the hall from us and we're like, hey, can you check our door to make sure they didn't tape, that someone didn't take the tape off? It turned out we figured out who took the tape off. So then, they, we got them to put the tape back on and everything, it was just to make sure we didn't sneak out. Um, so then, we're up until like 11.30, um, we're, I'm just about to sleep, and then we hear so we, one of my roommates goes and checks the door. He's like, oh, maybe it's a teacher knocking or something. Nope, no one was there. So then we hear, that was me scratching my desk, but we hear that, a noise that sounds like that. We're getting really creeped out. 
And then we kept seeing a person walking up and down the hallway, but they wouldn't like look at us when we were knocking on our door, like because we were knocking on the inside like that. Um, and they, um, so we didn't know what was up. And then the room got really, really cold and it got really, really foggy out. So we think our room is haunted at this point. So we ended up having uh, one person stay up for two. We had hour and a half shifts because at this point it was like 12 o'clock and we were told we had to get up at, at six. Um, so we all took hour and a half shifts watching the door to make sure no one tried to come in. Um, so yeah, that's that. So I'm going to cut it off here. Save day two and day three for the next commentary because this is getting a little bit long. But thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Crazy VR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See ya. I'm gonna enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride.